Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to watch just might be the most expensive roadside tire change you've ever seen. Blew a steer tire last night in the middle of a canyon with no service and ended up hitchhiking home. So uh, here we go. Seven tons have a different tire than our five tons run. The only thing we have out of all of our vehicles that have the same tire is this fire truck over here. We gotta pull these tires off and then run them over the hangar to see if they'll fit in the Dolphin. Conflict of Nations is a military themed strategy game. The game takes place in the late 20th to the early 21st century. And the coolest part is at the core of the game, there's real life combat that puts the player in charge of an entire nation for world domination. Alan, fire now! Each nation should be managed and carefully developed. Units move across the map in real time, often taking hours to complete their mission goals. Building the required infrastructure is the key to winning the game. Fight up to 128 other players in real time. You sign up right now, you get 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription. Yeah, you heard me right. You gotta click the link right now. It offers only good for 30 days because who knows if we're gonna be alive after that. Huge thanks to Conflict of Nations for sponsoring today's video. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna see just how versatile this helicopter is. We've put mountain bikes back here, we've put a bunch of other stuff back here, and now we're gonna to try to put a 53 inch army truck tire. Luckily this truck, is, or this helicopter's got the extended cab, and this seat comes out, so ish, whew, I think it will. At an angle, it's gonna be tight. 53, but how wide is it? 16. It's gotta be 53 to here, technically. Let's grab it and see. Tires are not light at all, so new forklift. Use the forklift to put it up in there to test fit it because it's too heavy for us just to manhandle it. It's not too heavy for Dave. If there's two Daves, we'd be golden. Dave and Hans. A little, a little large. It's like right. To the point where everything gets scratched and scraped, probably. So we'll spray it with some tire shine so it's a little easier. You wanna call Paul, see if he's around? For the Hawk? The Black Hawk. The Black Hawk's for. Let's see. Talk to me. Paul the pilot. What's going on? You around? Uh, I'm not actually. I'm in Arizona. That's rude. What do you need? I don't even, I don't even know why I have your number anymore. I don't need it, dude. Just uh, if you would, delete it as soon as you have phone, okay? I'll do that. Do you need somebody to fly the Blackhawk? Yeah. Okay, Chris is around. Text, text me his number. Okay, I'll send it to you. Much obliged. Okay, man. Bye. See ya. Delete contact. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three buddies that fly the Blackhawk with me. As you guys know, JT, the main man, he's the one who helped me with the whole process. He's the one that flew back from uh, Thoroughbred when we first brought it back. And he uh, is in the Utah National Guard. In the Utah National Guard, they got a lot of Blackhawk pilots because they have a big Blackhawk program. So a couple of guys that JT worked with, Paul and Chris, are also part of the team that flies the Blackhawk with me. So at any given time, we've got two or three pilots on standby, um, depending on where they're at, what they got going on. Um, Paul, the guy that we fly with the most, is actually down in Arizona right now. JT, I think he travels a lot for work too, so I don't think he's available. So Chris, not that Chris is like the last option, but Chris is, uh, well, Chris was the last option today, and he's available, so it's perfect. But if you're watching this, Chris, we love you. We just don't want to drive there. Okay. We tried to put this tire in the back of the Dolphin, but it didn't fit, so it'll fit in the Blackhawk, so. If you're available, it would just be like, get here as soon as you can. Change the tire on this, this truck. Drive back to the Blackhawk and take off. Yeah, give me about 
20 minutes to get I gotta change and get ready but uh, give me about 20 that's minutes. unacceptable Chris get your ass over here it's, it's gonna take me 40 minutes just to get there I'm still in my underwear yeah, you know what I'm doing <laughs> well, I'm just it's, it's one o'clock in the afternoon I'm just gonna do it myself and put a picture of you in the in the co-pilot seat <laughs> Get here as soon as you can, please. I need your license number, though, by the way. <laughs> He's asking where the keys are to the helicopter. So as you can see, we're having an issue with the tire fitting in the back of the Delphine. It is, like, so close and honestly might fit, but this tire and wheel combo probably weighs close to 500 pounds. And so trying to get it in that opening without breaking all the plastics, all the plastics inside these old helicopters are so brittle and, like, just damaged super easily. And we just redid this one, so the last thing we want to do is go through and destroy it because... Remember, this is going to be the Lawfather's helicopter, my partner Cole. We don't want to give him a broken machine. Black Hawk, as many of you know, is a two-pilot helicopter. requires two pilots at all times. So I need another pilot to be able to do that with me. Going to be the, probably the most expensive tire change in the history of, uh, well, definitely our business. Let's get it loaded up. Two standing up tall is the what I think is a safe bet. Or 53. I was about oh. to say, we're probably the only people in history to use a black hawk to change a tire on a seven ton. But I take it back, I'll bet you that army guys do this all the time. <laughs> Tight squeeze. It's like made for it though. So we just landed up here at uh, Beaver Creek Lodge, which as you guys know, this is where we spend Christmas and winter and do the Snowed In series. Uh, our friends, the Smoot family, own this place. Just great people, awesome community. Brian from Atlas Towing, as you guys have seen in a lot of our videos recently, uh, met us here with his wrecker. But that's not what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to show you my parking spot. Look at that. I was damn near perfectly in the lines, only taking up one stall. That, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna toot my own horn. Two, two bitches. I got a date with my daughter tonight, Charlie May. I gotta be home by five. It is now three, 2.55. So I've got, I gotta be in the air leaving here by probably 4.30. So that gives us an hour and a half to get down the can, you get the tire on and back. So for some reason that doesn't line up time-wise, we're just gonna leave hands with the tire with Brian. He'll be in good hands and he can swap it and drive it home. But my goal is to get it on, get back here, get the whole kit and caboodle done. Also, it's been probably, almost two months since I last flew this thing. I freaking love this helicopter. Don't get me wrong, I love the Delphine, but nothing flies like this. I mean, I'm telling you, it is like, it's like a dream every time I get in there. I literally feel like I'm dreaming because it's just, it just stays good, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense, Nate? Yeah. Like a good dream, the one yeah. that's just like, just yeah. keeps getting better, not a nightmare. We're gonna roll the tire onto Brian's rollback. So you can see our problem here. Blown out sidewall. These old uh, Michelin army tires are great until they're not. And then there's no warning, they usually just go. So this blew up last night on hands when he was driving home. It didn't feel any different. And fortunately he didn't lose control. Anytime you lose a steer tire, it's a little scary. And he just had to pull over here and there's no cell service anywhere through here. So hands had to hitchhike down to Logan. That way, 20 miles. That way, 20 miles or 20 minutes, 20 minutes and I'm like smack dab in the middle. I've never hitchhiked before. I don't even know how this works. All I know is you just draw out a thumb and hopefully somebody stops. So I was like waiting for the most like our demographic vehicle ever. And I see it coming around the corner. I'm like, this is my guy. This is him, Mr. Duramax. Throw out the thumb, boom, right on by. I think he sped up when he saw me. Little did I know behind me comes a utility van 
with two of the, the kindest dudes ever, slid a few things to the side and I sat on their lunch cooler. I'm, I'm fine with my new friends here. You know, I had a hitchhike. I had lost all hope for people after the first guy left me high and dry. I'm gonna back the big uh, wrecker underneath it with the wheel lift, Just pick up the front end, slap that tire on, should be in and out pretty quick. wheel doesn't fit in the back we can just steal one of the rears and just chain the suspension up and just let it ride like that Okay, let's just lift it up and pull it off. What happened is we brought the wrong wheel and tire, which is really weird because there's not that many combinations that don't work. And we just happened to bring the wheel that had too much positive offset. So it pushed the wheel too far back in and it was hitting the suspension components. So the beauty of a six by six is you can take a wheel off and the truck will still drive. Uh, gonna limp it basically home from here. Now that we've got good steer tires, hands can kind of slow down a little bit and just make sure it's not going too fast. And uh, as long as that left rear tire holds, it'll be golden. If it doesn't, then we're gonna be finding another spare tire or taking the tire off the wheel and swapping it out, which we could easily do. It just takes like about an hour, especially if you're not at the shop without the right tools and stuff. So it's better to, to not mess with it for now. Pull this thing out and get out of here. I gotta get home with Charlie. Well, my friends, that's it. That's a Blackhawk tire swap. We got good steer tires now. Missing one rear drive tire, which as long as he takes it easy, should get home just fine. Got 15 minute drive up the canyon, get in the helicopter, fly home, be home by 4.30. Should be home just in time. Now I realize this isn't realistic for a lot of people because not everybody has a Blackhawk, but since we do, might as well use it for anything and everything, right? We're gonna get in the air. Now, Nate, myself, get to drive the seven ton back. Tires, not in great shape still. The other side is the one I was concerned about and it hasn't blown yet. So we're just gonna free ball this back axle. Suspension is gonna hold the weight. It should be fine and nothing's gonna happen. So now we're just gonna look like a bunch of goofballs going down the road. About my style though. concerned about finally went <laughs> so close 
two exits away. Probably could put a little bit more air in it. She might be good to go. We are like 15 miles from the shop. Some guys are bringing us tools, so we're gonna watch this probably shatter here in a second. I grabbed what I could find quickly. Did you use that uh, sledgehammer to break that off the curb? Might as well have. Left Bear Lake with six tires. Now she's a four-wheel drive vehicle. They're independent suspension, so they're holding themselves up. The only tires on the rear axle and the steer axle, so we're gonna take it slow on the way home. This is just another video of, we're gonna run and grab the truck real quick. Hope you enjoyed it. Two, two bitches. Conflict of Nations is a free online PVP strategy game happening in modern global warfare. Choose your own strategy, engage in epic battles, and take over the world. You get an exclusive gift. Click on the link in my description to get 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription for free. Offer only available for 30 days, so don't lose time. Click the link in the description, choose your country, and fight your way to victory.